Well, the MLB draft is just one day away, and for Brooks Lee, there's a very good chance that he will know which MLB team he will call his home in less than 24 hours. And after many days, weeks, and months of having the public asking me what makes Brooks so elite, I thought to myself, why don't we just ask him? Here's what Brooks had to say about his six tools that make him ready for the highest level. There are five tools to the game of baseball. I have Brooks Lee right here with me. Brooks has a six tool that we're gonna go look into today. Brooks, I wanna look into those five tools from your perspective. So let's get right into that, okay? All right, let's do it. Tool number one is the actual glove, the fielding side of things. Brooks, take me through how you stack up compared to the rest of the draft class and also to an MLB level. How do you feel about your glove specifically out here at shortstop where you man this position your entire time at Cal Poly? I can play all three positions, short, second, and third, but uh, most specifically, I like to play shortstop. I think I stack up pretty well versus the rest of my draft class, uh, and there's continuous things I'll always have to work on in order to stay above or right with other guys. Would you consider playing other positions if it was asked upon you? Yeah, so it's all about winning, so uh, a team asked me to play somewhere else uh, at the big league level, I'm happy to do so. And, uh, no matter what, it's all about hitting and being in the lineup, and that's all I care about. This is where you played your entire career. What does it mean to you to play shortstop at Cal Poly, and what would it mean to you to play at the next level at this position? Well, the rest of my family was also middle infielders um, so and switch hitters, so I really enjoy doing what I do. Uh, and it's not just for me, it's uh, for the rest of my family. And uh, I've worked on it my whole life and played many of other positions, but I want to stick at shortstop. I'm working continuously to develop um, good foot stride and better footwork and in order to be a successful shortstop and make a lot of plays I need to have that range. Another tool that we have is the actual arm tool specifically at shortstop. How do you get stronger in that one position to be able to make those hard off balance throws to first base? Being able to throw from all different slots uh, that's really important to me. And When you play other positions uh, like second or third uh, it all accumulates into shortstop so in order to now have a good arm, those are the things that you have to have. You know, the baseball IQ is the biggest thing that sets me apart from a lot of people. Obviously, I grew up here uh, and I'm a coach's kid and it's not just a coach's kid, I'm Larry Lee's kid, so uh, it's a little different uh, mindset that I have versus a lot of other players and that's what sets me apart from my peers. Long tossing, twice a week, it's probably the most important out of anything. What do you think maybe stands out about you or an infielder in general that you look up to and kind of model your game after? Yeah, there's two. So uh, Corey Seager is the first one and then Brandon Crawford. Corey Seager's a little taller than me. Kind of the same uh, arm with the way I throw and then the same foot speed. Uh, and they're both left-handed hitters, which is great. Tool number three would be the hit tool. Brooks, you have a hit tool on both sides of the plate. I kind of want to combine both tool number three and four, which is also the power tool. Where do you feel like you have more power and maybe more contact ability? Uh, I would say I have more power from the right side, uh, and then I have more contact ability from the left side. I want you to show me from the left-handed side right here, where is the sweet spot pitch for Brooks Lee? Um, well, I like to go uh, opposite field a lot. So from either side, it's probably um, a little bit elevated and then I like to get the ball away. So uh, I'm grateful to have uh, longer arms than my dad. So uh, I like to get extended and hit the ball somewhere out here. Um, and that's where, you know, usually I get most of my hits. We're gonna switch to the other side of the box because that's what you do. And I want you to show me what maybe is the difference on this side of the plate as a right-handed hitter. You mentioned that you are more of a power hitter on this side. Uh, I think I'm a little more rotational right-handed, so. Uh, you know, I like to pull the ball from this side and uh, it's a little bit easier to hit to the left side of the field um, and get out versus here at Bagley Stadium from the right side. I love to also get something up and um, I go opposite field just like left-handed, but uh, my sweet spot's probably up and in. And from the right side, you know, I get a limited sample size, so I'm all about switch hitting. You know, I dedicate my life to it. I've had a lot of success from both sides, so I'm looking forward to doing it for as long as I can. And, you know, and someone tells me no, I'm probably still going to keep doing it. There is one final tool, that would be speed. Brooks, you told me even off air that speed may not necessarily be your thing, but what are you doing to at least improve in that department? And ultimately, where do you feel like you factor in with the rest of the class there? Yeah, so I'm probably an average runner. Um, for a shortstop especially, I'm not doing very much running right now, but the lifting especially is something that will help me increase my speed. Brooks, you've been wearing a Cal Poly hat for a very long time, your entire life. Where does that six tool, that sense of understanding baseball come from, from your family line from right here in slow. I've learned a lot of things uh, growing up uh, from my dad and other coaches and just being around here in the dugout too during games as a kid. 
uh, but you know it comes a lot from uh, being mature and things don't quite go in through one ear and out the other like they used to uh, when you're a little more immature so a lot of things have stuck around and you know it shows. There you have it the six tools of Brooks Lee who is soon to be an MLB draft pick. Brooks good luck at the next level. Thank you appreciate it. So exciting to see what happens with him tomorrow. The anticipation is real. The draft starts at 4 o'clock. Such a great story, Dusty, and we're wishing him the best of luck.